So happy Rakshabandhan to everyone. And it's a beautiful time that we are celebrating Rakshabandhan here in South Africa. When we say Rakshabandhan, we all understand the literal meaning of Rakshabandhan, don't we? Hmm? Raksha means protection and Bandhan means bondage. It's a bondage of protection. And this bondage or this binding is between the soul and the Supreme Soul. It is said that the, in the ancient times, this Rakhi symbolized victory. It was said that in the ancient times, when King Indra went to fight with the demons, he was losing the war. So, at, in the, on the last day, he felt as if he's going to lose everything. And that is when, before going to the war, his wife, Indrani, she said, let me tie this hmm, thread of protection. May you be protected. So she tied that Rakhi on his wrist and he went into the war and he won the war. So it symbolizes victory. Then it is said that afterwards, it was the Brahmins who started tying Rakhis hmm, to the people of the society. With that desire that may they all be protected from the evils. This is why the Brahmin used to come into the house of everyone, used to tie the Rakhi and used to go. With that pure wish that may they remain protected from all the evils. So Rakhi symbolizes protection from the evils. So first was Rakhi symbolizes victory. Rakhi symbolizes protection from the evil. Then it was seen that the Brahmins also left their duties of being Brahmins and some got into business, some got into some other thing. So the Brahmins also stopped going to the houses of people. And so, the purest relationship was between a brother and a sister. So they made it more simpler that let the sisters have this pure desire of getting protection from the brothers. So they started tying this pure uh, thread, the sacred thread on the wrist of the brothers. With this desire that the brothers would protect us. But supposing if the sister is elder, the brother is younger, how can he protect the sister? Supposing if the brother is living abroad, the sister is living in some other place, how can they protect one another? Or those sisters who do not have brothers, what about them? Won't they get protection ever in their lives? So it is not that. Rakhi symbolizes the purest relationship. So Rakhi symbolizes victory. Rakhi symbolizes uh, 
Uh, protection from the evils, Rakhi symbolizes purity. And it is the memorial of Sangam Yuga that when Baba comes, we all have the most purest relationship with that supreme being. We have all the relationships with him. And not only that, he is our supreme protector. And when we bind ourselves with the supreme in the protection, in the relationship, he becomes the protector for all of us. And he is the one who is the protector. We realize that. Nobody in the world can ever be protectors of one another in this corporeal world because it has degraded to such an extent that nobody can protect anyone. But the supreme protector is Baba himself. So we have all the purest relationships with him. But I am reminded of one message that Baba gave through Dadi Gulzar when she offered book to Baba on the day of Rakshabandhan, many years back. And Baba gave the message, beautiful, that Rakhi has two threads. So the one thread symbolizes courage and the other thread symbolizes zeal and enthusiasm. We have to take every step of courage, one step of courage, and Baba is there to help us hundredfolds. He is always there by our side. But whatever step of courage we take, it should be boosted with zeal and enthusiasm. The positive energy. Because in today's world, people have courage, but they have courage to do all the negative things. But when they have this positive energy, then on the basis of the positive energy, whatever actions we do would be directed in the most elevated stage. So Baba says these two threads, we always have to keep it tied on us. The thread of courage and the thread of zeal and enthusiasm. Then Baba said that you have to be the protectors. Not just Baba. But we have to be protectors in three ways. And then only we shall receive the protection from Baba. The first protection that we have to have for ourselves is what is said to be, first we have to become Swaraksha. We have to protect ourselves. What do we have to protect in ourselves? We have to protect our own state of mind. Why? Because that fluctuates the most. We should protect our state of mind. Nobody can do this. That, nobody can do that for us. We have to protect our state of mind ourselves. May whatever come, but we have to make sure that our stage does not fluctuate. Our state of mind does not come in upheavals. We are not shaken no matter what may come. In the future, there are various scenes that are to come in drama. 
If I'm not stable from within, that means I'm not the protector of my own state of mind. If the mind is protected, then our attitude, our feelings, which are connected, will also be protected. If the state of mind shakes, then our feelings, everything is going to get disturbed. Our attitude is going to get disturbed. So Baba says, first of all, you have to protect your own self. Be Swa Rakshak. Swa means self, self protectors. Yes. The second which Baba mentioned was, you have to be Mariyada Rakshak. From morning till evening, Baba has given us so many Mariyadas. And I have to be the protector of all the Mariyadas which Baba has given to me from Amrit Vela to night. I have to protect especially the Mariyadas of values. I have to adhere to that. I have to be the protectors of mariyadas and values. Nobody else can do that in my life. I have to protect those values that I stand for, which Baba has given me because I am the one who is going to go to that golden aged world. So I have to protect those values. Maya will there, Maya will try to shake you. What is Maya? Maya is the weaknesses. The weaknesses will come up again and again. Ravan will try to deviate you. From the path of huh, Mariyadas, purity. So Baba says, you have to become the protectors of all the values, the pure values that hmm, are meant for you. So Mariyada Rakshak, protectors of Mariyadas. The third is our home is Baba's home or your home? Huh? Your house, your home is your home or Baba's home? Baba's home or your home? Whose home is it? It is Baba's home and Baba's center is also Baba's home. So both, your home and Baba's home, we have to be the protectors of the vibrations. First, we have to protect the vibrations of our own home. As Baba says, charity begins at home. So we have to protect the vibrations, the atmosphere of that small home, which is also Baba's home. And we have to be protectors of the vibrations of Baba's home huh? in the city. So that no uh, negative, sense, negative vibrations ever come close. Whoever comes to Baba's home should experience Peace, love, huh? positive vibrations. So that is our responsibility to be the protectors of Baba's vibrations, Baba's home vibrations, Baba's center's vibration. Hmm? So these are the three protectors that we have to be. Swarakshak. Mariyada Rakshak, 
and uh, Rakshak for Baba's home. And Rakshak in the sense, we have to protect the vibrations. Always keep the vibrations so loving that whoever comes gets the experience of God's love. Hmm? Keep the vibrations obstacle free, free from obstacles. Keep the vibrations positive. The more I contribute in keeping the vibrations of Baba's home positive, free from obstacles, then I become the real protectors. And it is always said in the world as well, God helps those who help themselves. So if I become the three protectors, then definitely Baba is going to protect me at every step. He also takes that responsibility. So this was the message from Bap Dada through Dadi Gulzar once, many years back, but it reminded me that that is true Raksha Bandhan. Isn't it? That is how we experience the protection of God at every step. If I don't take up the responsibility, then how can I become worthy to receive God's protection? Right? So that is what Raksha Bandhan means. And we have to be protectors in that sense. Right? So today when we tie this Rakhi, we make this determined thought with the self that yes, I am going to be Swarakshak, Maryada Rakshak and Center Rakshak. Huh? Yes. Yes. And then we can experience Baba's help and protection at every step and become worthy. Okay? Om Shanti.